We're going to spend a good deal of time looking at the various reactions of carboxylic acids. So I just want to introduce you to um, a few of the main ways that carboxylic acids react. The first is probably the simplest, and that's a reaction with base. When you react a carboxylic acid with base, it deprotonates it. to give you um, this conjugate base, which is referred to as the carboxylate anion. The second thing is one that we learned uh, earlier in the semester. You can do a reduction and you can reduce the carboxylic acid to an alcohol. And then the third, which is what we'll be spending the most time on, is reacting this with a nucleophile. Um, and what happens here is the nucleophile will substitute out the OH group giving you a carboxylic acid derivative. And this method here, this is going to be kind of our big focus in the chapter is different ways to do this. All right, we're going to uh, continue to fill in our chart here um, by looking at uh, the carboxylic acid. And we're going to fill in this type 2a mechanism where we have, in this case, we're going to be doing it with the carboxylic acid. Um, later, we'll look at this again if you have a carboxylic acid derivative plus a weak nucleophile like water, um, an alcohol or amine, and acidic conditions. Uh, this is another reversible reaction. Um, so just like we learned in the type 1a, when you have an aldehyde or ketone plus an acid, the first step is always to protonate it. That's going to be the same deal if you have a carboxylic acid or derivative. The first step, protonate the carbonyl. So let's zoom in here and we'll take a look at how to react the carboxylic acid with an alcohol. All right, so here we are in our type 2A category. We're looking at a carboxylic acid. I'm just going to keep it very simple and use acetic acid. And we're going to react that with acid and then alcohol, methanol. So the first step, always protonate your oxygen. And you get an activated carbonyl. Now that we have an activated extra reactive carbonyl, now the methanol, um, being a weak nucleophile, can add to that. So this really isn't anything too new. Activated carbonyl, add your nucleophile to the carbonyl carbon. So now you have protonated methanol. We're going to keep the methanol group. We want to get rid of one of the OH groups. So we need to get a proton transferred from the methanol oxygen to one of the OHs. Uh, we're, we'll do this in the two-step process where you use just a weak base in the solution. Let's take that proton off.
Then in a second step, we still have acid around that can protonate one of the OHs. Right from there, now we have uh, water, which is a good leaving group. So I'll use the lone pair on this alcohol. Push that down, which assists me in losing water. Now all that's left to do, I need to get rid of the proton from the carbonyl. So let's just use a B again for a weak base. And I'll take that proton off. So what we can see is that through this process, um, using acid as a catalyst, we have converted the OH to an OCH3 group. And this is going to be a quintessential reaction in this chapter because we're going to convert um, the carboxylic acid into a derivative, but also we'll be talking about this reaction in the next chapter, just in the reverse, where we start with an ester or something like that, add a bunch of water and acid, and push this reaction in the other direction to hydrolyze the ester to an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. So really, uh, even though they're going to be two different mechanisms, they're really no different, just the forward and reverse processes.